Hey Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to your mid-December general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. Thank you always for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Y'all know I'm super grateful for that. And as we always do, Cancer, right after your general reading, I go and do your love reading for the mid-month. The love reading is where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love right now, and we get their perspective, their side of the story, what are they thinking about you, how are they feeling towards you, all that stuff that's going on in your love life, we unpack that in the love reading. That's always the first link in the description box below, my email, Instagram, TikTok, all other ways to connect with me on other social medias and all that is also in the description box below. And don't forget, Cancer, I'm picking one of y'all's cards at the end of this reading as a surprise, as just a way to say thank you. Um, so to see who it is, we'll have to wait for uh, till the end. Okay, Cancer, let's get into this reading. This is your general reading. Okay, so for the general messages may or may not apply, this can be about anything in this reading, okay? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've got three more shuffles. This is our last reading for December. This is our last reading of, of the year. This is wild. This is crazy. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on. Let's see how we're going to spend the rest of the year, yeah? Okay. All right, you've got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be connecting with a fire sign, possible Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, this is in your pre-shuffle, and this is, I feel like, someone else coming towards you, someone with passion. Um, Queen of Swords is behind that, and they have something to say. Someone's got some big news for you is what I heard, okay? We have the Hierophant, first card out, card of Taurus. Okay, so definitely starting with, talking about a commitment that you're in or, or a part of. Eight of Cups, maybe thinking about leaving this commitment, okay? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Eight of Cups is that vibe of, you know, this is pretty good, but something is, something's not quite right. Something's not quite enough for doing it for me with the Eight of Cups. So I feel like you're recognizing some commitment that you're a part of, and that this Hierophant can represent your work, the commitment that you have to your work and your job, your career. Paraffin can represent the commitment that you have to your partnership, your possible relationship. Okay, the Hierophant can represent, you know, also your belief system. So you could also, for some of you, be reevaluating what it is that you're believing in right now. Yeah, you have the hangman here as well. So you're trying to figure some things out. You have the page of swords. And then you have the judgment card, Cancer. So there's some big leveling up and some big decisions coming in. Let me get the rest of these cards out. What else is going on with Cancer? So yeah, I really feel like this judgment card has almost everything to do with your Hierophant energy. It's like you need to figure out if this is something you want to stay with or take it to the next level and move on. Cancer, y'all have the Ace of Pentacles. This was also in your pre-shuffle. There's a huge opportunity here at the end of the year for you. Um, I really feel like it does have a lot to do with money, like a grand opportunity. I'm really feeling like with the, with the, with the judgment card and the ace of pentacles and with the hair fit, some of you could be in a similar, like a spiritual based, um, career or something like that. That's really about to next level, go to the next level, like where you've been now, it's going to turn into like fame and stardom and like bigger, bigger money, bigger energy, that kind of stuff. Okay, our last three cards are all the way down here. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Lover's card, Cancer. Okay, so this really is uh, coming into union with something or with someone, all right? Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, um, you don't need to feel guilty. This is a card of like you feeling kind of guilty about something because I feel like you're getting a lot. I feel like you're gaining a lot of opportunity, a lot of growth at, here at the end of the year. Something is leveling up and moving to the next level here. It could have something to do again. For some of you with the hair fit and the lover's card, this is totally representing, you know, a relationship or a partnership of some type of some type romantically. Okay, that there's an opportunity with that. Um, I feel like for some of you with the, with all the pages, page of swords, and then we have the page of pentacles and the page of cups. 
Uh, Page of Cups could be you, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio have some Earth energy and some Air energy. I feel like there are some ideas starting like you and maybe an earth sign or someone that just has some really practical really good ideas or they're trying to put i'm hearing input someone giving you some input into something like you're you're drinking the cup you're like mm -hmm, i like what you said i like that like someone's someone's uh really boosting you up and giving you a lot of ideas um very creative energy this page of pentacles could lead with this ace of pentacles first it could definitely lead to a 10 of pentacles situation. So I feel like there's a business partnership uh, developing for a lot of y'all right now, Cancer. Um, so a business partner, a friend helping you with stuff, definitely a lot of creative energy. I'm hearing beaming up, like the glow up, the beam up to something amazing. And for the rest of you, I do feel like this is a, uh, a relationship because we do have a big decision here um, on what you're gonna do. Let's get some clarifiers out. Because Eight of Cups, Judgment, and the Page of Cups is kind of, if some of, for some of you, if you're in a relationship, even with a friend, I really feel like, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or maybe you're married to this person. For some of you, you kind of have a little foot out the door, just a little bit, but you need to make a decision so that you don't feel that way anymore because we don't want to be in a relationship where we feel like, hey, I could kind of dip out at any time or maybe the other person could. So I feel like you're kind of, Spirit is telling me to tell you, with the page of cups to t to come from a light-hearted page of cups type of energy in your relationship okay don't be so serious and, and try to come from a more light-hearted type of energy is what they're saying here so um okay the hierophant and the king of pentacles just flew out okay to clarifying the hierophant let's get one more this is for cancer let's clarify the hierophant please so Hierophant on Hierophant, this is definitely representing a strong commitment. With the King of Pentacles with that, I do feel like this is like work related for a lot of you as well. And it could be both. Maybe for some of you, you work with your, with your partner. Maybe for some of you, you're in love with your work partner. I don't know. Okay, Seven of Swords. So yeah, you're feeling a little bit guilty about something. We have the Seven of Swords twice and that's you. Okay, I feel like because you're getting, again, so many opportunities, Cancer, you have this energy of like, is that, are we sure that's for me? Are we, are we sure that's mine? Like, don't, we don't need to be there. Like, this is for you. This is amazing. This is good. So King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, I do feel like some of y'all are connected to an earth sign. Um, this person believes in you and you believe in them. There's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunity there. Three of Pentacles and Page of Wands. I'm going to put it back, but I feel like that would have been further clarification for the Hierophant. So I do feel like a strong sense of coming together and teamwork with this person. Let's look at your Eight of Cups. This is where you're kind of asking yourself those deep questions on, should I stay here? Is this something that fills my cup? What's this Eight of Cups? Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups for Cancer. Some of you do want options. With the Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, some of you might are are kind of thinking about other other options, other people. You don't want to be. You definitely don't want to be alone. So some of you are. Yeah, I, I feel like that's just, I'm hearing fleeting. It's like a fleeting idea. Like some sometimes you just get these wild ideas like I could just move. I could just move locations. I could just move away from not necessarily this relationship or person, maybe for some of you, but I kind of feel this like almost like Sagittarius, like spontaneous energy with y'all with this Queen of Wands, the way that I'm getting the vibe from her on your Eight of Cups of like, you know, like some of y'all are just doing your thing and you're, you just get these like, just epiphanies of like, you know what? I could just pick up and I could just move somewhere and I could just go over here. Um, but then you think about it and you're like, well, that would cost a lot of money. I feel like there is some hesitation around uh, funding this potential moving on from something. All right, let's look at, let's look at your hangman for cancer, hangman. Okay, eight of cups and ace of pentacles. Okay, this is definitely telling me because your Ace of Pentacles is here and you have the Eight of Cups twice, Page of Swords. So, Cancer, if this is about career for you, you're doing really, really well with where you're at and I feel like you have a huge opportunity to go next level. Like if you've been, 
Um, I don't know, if you've been comfortable and doing well and doing fine in career and business, I feel like you're going like next level, like six figures, or if you're already at six figures, you're going the, to the next level. Um, I really, really feel that. I feel for some of you in commitment uh, and relationship kind of energy that you're just like tiptoeing like, okay, I know I'm probably gonna go for this, but yeah, you're tiptoeing towards something and you're, you are being a little reserved, you are holding back a little bit because I know you don't wanna get hurt by this because it is, this is a huge deal for you. This would be like a really, really, really big deal for you. All right, let's look at this page of swords. This could be um, how the message is coming in. Yeah, high priestess. You know, this is like a message to yourself that's saying like, you know, you're, you're trusting in your intuition and you know that this is guiding you in the right direction. When we get the high priestess, I definitely feel like that is a, you're on the right path. You're, you're doing the right thing. You're connecting with the right kind of people right now um, towards whatever goal you're trying to achieve. Page of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely going to um, bring you confidence. And th this is like a lot of conversation about money, about worth, about planning, about budget, about that kind of thing as well. But we also have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So this can be d definitely career and love or both. These are general. Just take what resonates. So I do have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like for a lot of you too, in more of the love and relationship side of things, that it is coming closer, like y'all are coming closer to a commitment. So maybe if y'all been the couple that's been kind of dating or off and on, I feel like it's time to really lock it down. Like someone might be buying a ring with this queen of pentacles, even if not a wedding ring, like a promise ring or some type of jewelry too, I'm hearing lock it in. Someone wants to lock in a relationship with you like a promise. Okay, let's look at your judgment card. This is your huge, this is right in the middle of your reading cancer. This is huge. You got the chariot. I'm not surprised to see that here. Ace of wands. This is really, really good. I'm going to pull one more. So you have the chariot and the ace of wands on the judgment. On judgment card. Judgment. Cancer. Anything else here? Six of swords. Yeah, you're moving on from something. Double moving on. Like literally getting in your fancy chariot car, your luxurious, lovely car. You feel inspiration. You feel inspired. You feel that Ace of Wands, new beginning. And wands are more about taking action. Like you're going to actually do something. Take action in something and move forward. Yeah, you're taking this opportunity. You're going to do it. You're leveling up. Also, you know, we're coming into the age of Aquarius here on 1221. And I definitely feel like for a lot of you, if you're like, you know, ready to ascend, or if you're already starting to feel those, those, those signs, see the signs and feel the shifts of the ascension into 5D, I definitely, a thousand percent, whoever I'm connecting with here, y'all, I mean, everyone's ascending, everyone's getting the shift, but this group right here are definitely like, it's your intention to live your life in this higher vibration now. It's like, I'm never going to go back to the way I was. Like your vibe is so high. How can you come down from that? Like that's where y'all are at. Cancer, this is huge. This is amazing. Let's look at your Ace of Pentacles. This is your big, giant gift. We have the Knight of Pentacles. It's a guardian angel energy. And Knight of Pentacles is also, this is going to last. Like this, this big Ace of Pentacles, this giant windfall of money or this huge opportunity in your career, uh, whatever this is, also in love. This can be like, hey, I want to be together in a practical, real way. With the, with the Knight of Pentacles on that, ooh, let's take it, let's take it down the long path, the long road. Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. The King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some of you. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Two of Cups. Okay, so this is definitely a little bit of everything. We have the Nine of Cups as well. So I do feel like for some of you, it's like it's like you're gonna have an opportunity here where, and I feel like you're gonna be a little, like you're gonna go like, like someone's gonna take your breath away because this King of Swords is like showing up with like cancer. I just need to tell you this, that I wanna give you this opportunity. I see all these great things that we can do together. Please just say yes. And you're just like, okay, like, you're, I see you putting your hand on your chest and just being like, 
I can't believe you just said it like that. Like I'm just, you're like blown away. Like you're blown away because you're going from nine of pentacles. You're going from kind of a single energy of, of being on your own and working on your own or being single and going into a partnership or going into, it's going to be one, now two, one, now two, either in work and or in career or in relationship. I actually feel both for a lot of you, like career is getting this level up and love and relationship is getting this level up. Cancer, this is amazing, amazing. If you're not dealing with an air sign, this king of swords is just, and he the, the robe and the outfit he's wearing is gold. This is your golden opportunity here. Okay, like this is really a huge deal. Like I'm getting huge just waves of like, I'm seeing gold and just like, just flashes of huge light for y'all. Like big fame, big money, big opportunity, like life partner energy, like this. I can't say it enough. This is huge. This is a really big deal. Let's look at this page of pentacles. This is like the practical, um, someone, someone's really, uh, I'm hearing level headed and practical here. What's this page of? Yeah, six of wands, all these ideas that y'all are talking about, and they might start off as like, well, what about this little thing? Mm -hmm, let's write that down. Mm -hmm, what about that little thing? Mm -hmm, yeah, let's write that down. Because write those down, because those ideas and things that y'all are investing in and putting your effort and money and time in, just little bits here and there, it's gonna pay off really well. Six of wands, it's gonna be extremely successful. Whatever you're investing in now, it's definitely gonna pay out. Six of wands, I would say within uh, very, very quickly, wands are faster moving energy, I would say within the next six weeks, you'll be seeing major, major results. Let's look at your page of cups. Two of swords, yeah, because in this whole row right here, this is showing me like, should I stay, should I go? Do I say yes, do I say no? So you're trying to sort that out. Page of Cups for Cancer. We have the star card. I mean, talk about a wish fulfillment. Talk about ascension. Talk about getting, the, what, this is what I'm saying. When we get the star card energy, Nine of Cups is also a wish fulfillment, which I don't think is here. But the other one, the higher vibration, is the star card. Some of you could be connecting with an Aquarius. But the star card is like, I feel like all of your wishes. Like when you wish upon a star, it's like the partners here. And I kind of, they have the two barrels. And I feel like you're getting double wishes, like love and money. Like you're getting both. Yes, you, you're getting both. All right, let's look at the lover's card. I know I'm like so ridiculous. Like, yeah, this is serious. It is. Because it is. It is. Is it the page of cups? It is. See, you're just, as soon as you get into that, like, I'm just going to approach this with optimistic, optimism and love and just come from that like inner, inner child, Cancerian, lovely, beautiful, sweet you, you're, you know what decision you're going to make, which is a yes. <laughs> oh, anything else for this lover's card? Eight of wands. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of communication between the two of you. Bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups. Okay, so this is definitely representing you. Six of Pentacles, you're coming into a position where you'll be able to be where this guy is. Giving back, helping, maybe be in a position where, you know what I mean? Not necessarily, doesn't have to be all about money, but I do feel like where you'll be able to, oh yeah, I can give back and I can donate. And I, like people wanna hear my advice because because of this leveling up, you're kind of now on a bigger or a higher vibration or kind of on this, seeing it on a pedestal in many ways. So the light is on you and now people are like, well, Cancer, tell me how you did this. Tell me how you, it's like people want to hear your success story. So tell them your success story because now you can help other people get to where you're at now. <laughs> yes, Cancer. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. My loves. Very beautiful reading. Okay. Let's do the pick a card. I'm going to calm down. I'm just, y'all know I get very excited when good things happen for y'all. I get very excited. Okay. For the pick a card this time, the person who won is Jennifer Witherspoon. Jennifer Witherspoon, you are my winner for the pick a card. So thank you all so much for being here. If Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time for the January reading, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Yes, I can tell if you're subscribed or not. And leave your name in the comment section down below. And next time, it could be you. I'm gonna pull Jennifer's card. And for the rest of you, Cancer, thank you so much 
for everything. Um, I really am so appreciative for all, uh, just everything that y'all do, your, your comments, your likes, your donations, the subscribes, all that kind of stuff. So I will see y'all next year in January. And don't forget, if you wanna do your love reading, which is what's going on with your other person and see what's what they're thinking about and all that stuff, that reading is always the first link in the description box below. All right, I love y'all. All right, Jennifer, this is for you, my love. All right, we've got three more they're saying. Spirit, this is for Jennifer Witherspoon. She's a cancer man. Spirit, what message do we have for Jennifer Witherspoon? She's a cancer. What does she need to hear right now? What does she need to know? All the best and highest good for Jennifer Witherspoon. All right, you've got the Prince of Wands, okay? So lots of action. I feel like you are that's you feeling very inspired by something and you want to take action towards something. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Cups. That's you showing up beautiful, loving, um, nurturing. I'm, I've heard the word warm. Like people feel like you're very warm, so I feel like you're very approachable. Um, I love that. Queen of Cups also is um, can represent relationships, so maybe you're in a loving relationship. Let's see, what else do we have for Jennifer Witherspoon? Oh, 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 oh. Jennifer, my love. Whoa, okay, so you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. This is a golden golden reading, my love. This is amazing energy. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be connecting with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn maybe, but I feel like this is also a version of you like knowing your worth, knowing how important you are, knowing how special you are. I feel like you're definitely falling in love definitely falling in love. Three of Cups is saying reunion energy because with the Three of Cups, there's actually two people here. So I feel like you and someone um, are coming into a relationship um, or, or, or even if you've been in a relationship, I feel like with this Ace of Cups, I'm feeling like you feel those butterflies all over again. You feel like, oh my gosh, even if I've been with you for a long time, even Ten of Pentacles, maybe I've been together for 10 years, I don't know. But regardless of the length of time, this is like, this is everything. You're, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You've got you've got it all, Jennifer. This is amazing. This is so beautiful. Uh, I don't even have any advice for you because you're already doing everything that you need to do. You have a beautiful uh, love opportunity coming in that could lead to financial abundance, um, a reunion, a beautiful connection. Even if this is not reunion, like someone coming back from the past, Three of Cups, you know, this is a celebratory energy, but in this particular deck, I mean, they're very close and loving and like, it's like a cuddling, you know, they're like doing yoga. I don't know what they're doing there, but this is a very like intimate kind of energy. So I do feel a strong sense of like, I love you. I've missed you. Let's be together and let's live happy, happily ever after. Uh, this is a happily ever after reading for sure. So, wow. Absolutely beautiful, Jennifer. Congratulations. Um, and that's it, you guys. That's it. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all next year, next time. Lots of love.